Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making a pineapple upside down cake. Yes, honey. Okay, I got the yes honey thing from my friend Rosie. She is super funny, but not only that, she is a great cook and I wanted to share some of her dishes with you guys. Mm -hmm, I told you guys she was good. Now I'm using Rosie's pineapple cake, upside down cake recipe, and it was incredible. I'll post her original video down in the description box below, and Rosie will be doing one of my recipes. So don't forget to go to her channel and subscribe. So now let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is sift all of your dry ingredients, and that includes the all-purpose flour, the baking powder, and salt. Sifting is annoying, but it will give you a smooth batter rather than a lumpy one. So sifting is always good. In my stand mixer, I'm going to throw in my sugar and shortening. Rosie used a butter flavored shortening. I had vegetable shortening, so that's what I used. And I'm just going to combine the two for about a minute. I then added an egg, mixed everything until it was light and fluffy, poured in a little bit of vanilla extract, added the dry ingredients, which is the flour, baking powder, and salt, poured in some buttermilk, some pineapple juice that came in the same can that the pineapple slices came in and I mixed everything for about 15 seconds until it was nice and smooth. And now I'm a big believer in once you're done mixing cake batters it should go straight in the oven. However this process takes no longer than a minute or so so it really didn't matter. In my iron skillet I melted some butter and some brown sugar that's going to turn into a nice caramel and then we're just going to place our pineapple rings. And now Rosie's iron skillet was smaller than mine I think because she had placed about five pineapple rings so I was a little upset that I couldn't snack on leftover pineapple rings. Alright so I placed some cherries inside of the pineapples. I then poured the cake batter on top and I smoothed it out the best I could with my spatula. And while I'm smoothing away I'll let you guys know right now that this cake was amazing. It really was. Some people serve this with some vanilla ice cream. I didn't think that was necessary. If a cake is really good, you don't need ice cream or whipped cream, definitely not whipped cream, <laughs> sprinkles, chocolate syrup, yada yada. Unless it's a hot fudgy brownie or a hot lava cake, then yeah. And as always, I'm getting too carried away here. So I baked this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. Now very, very important, wait until your cake has completely cooled before flipping it over. Take a knife and run it along the sides. If you don't wait for it to cool, you'll have a mess, a delicious mess, but still you want it to look nice and pretty. First time I ever made pineapple upside down cake, it fell apart because I didn't wait for it to cool, rookie mistake. So now you know. Plus, you don't just want to eat this, you want to take pics and show off a bit, right? Right. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Don't forget to check out and subscribe to Rosie's page, please. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching.